Such volunteers in Thailand have continued to care for the underprivileged children in Conte of Bangkok. Among the scholarship recipients is Kanifa. She lives in a dilapidated house with her parents. To give this family a comfortable living environment, Tsuji volunteers recently mobilized to help repair their home. The life of people living in flooded homes is not romantic at all. My daughter always asks me, Dad, when can you repair our home? I would tell her I do not have extra money because the income I earn each day is only enough to pay our food. But Daddy will work hard. I can only comfort my daughter in this way. There are 12,000 low-income families living in the Klontoy area of Bangkok. The water flooded this dilapidated house, which was built with wood boards and schist meadows, and it does not recede yet. Ten-year-old Kanifa usually does her homework under such environments. As Mr. Somba's health condition is getting worse and worse in recent years, he is unable to improve his family's living environment. Thankfully, city volunteers decided to provide assistance for this family after they conducted home visits prior to the scholarship distribution. Actually, since 2011, city volunteers have started to care for the children in the slum area of Klontoy and distribute new shoe scholarships to them. After the city recycling education center opened its doors in 2014, volunteers have been inviting these families to join city activities. We hope these children will not contact drugs or use them. We can teach them Chinese here and educate them about recycling. Kenny Fa's mother is mentally challenged, but she has become more confident after doing recycling. I can help not only my family, but also other people by doing recycling. I feel proud because everyone helps each other. By doing recycling and helping each other, low-income families can also do good deeds, spreading love to others less fortunate.